What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Light Platinum with the Roshank Redemption. It, oh, Team Steam's over there. Wow, okay. In the last episode, we arrived at this town whose name I already forgot. It's like Landon Lynn or something like that. That was probably like way off. Huh? But in this episode, I guess we're going to start off taking, taking on Team Steam. Uh, and if there's a gym here, we're definitely going to do that as well. So you guys can look forward to that. Um, so far, gyms have not been challenging in the slightest, really, which is kind of making me a little worried. Because uh, I do want this like region to be a challenge. Um, Although, knowing this game, it probably is going to get to be a challenge, and I'm just like, you know, I'm just being classic Rohan and be like, oh, it's not going to be a challenge, and just get owned. Heard of Kosaka City, it's just past the lake up ahead. If we don't get there soon, Kratos will be really angry. Angry. Okay. That Kratos dude is still here. What happened to Zero, by the way? Did he just get trapped in the distortion world? Trained very hard today. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Um. So, do we want to go to the right here? I guess there isn't really a gym here, huh? Well, so that there isn't really a gym, there is not a gym. <laughs> okay. We found a super potion. Yay, thank you for the super potion. Um, really could use that with my Pokemon having so much health at this point. Okay. Well, I don't have a good rod, so that sucks. I'm assuming we need to go across here because they were like, oh, like you need to go across here to super pal. You need to, uh, we're going to go across here. So I'm assuming that we're chasing like Team Plaza right now. Um, Uh, okay. Alright, we're gonna avoid these dudes. Wow, okay, we actually managed to avoid all of them, which is nice. This is a rustic town, okay. Well, now we're headed to Kosaka City, apparently. Oh, wow, we're already at the next city. This thing looks kind of derpy. Stun, 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 stun. Um, well, shoot, where do we go now? Wait, do we just, like, glitch into that house? Oh, my gosh, I did not want to do that. Okay, like, uh, sorry guys, I just like, you know, I'm not really too familiar with this game, as you guys know, so, oh, there's a gym here, let's take on the gym. That's the first thing we're gonna do. Up. Oh. Hello, trainer, I'm Lucy, leave this gym. Sorry, but I have to leave the gym for a while. Some people dressed in white enter the sky tower, it's my job to stop them. White, okay. Um, she's going this way, is the sky tower this way then? Who knows? Oh, this is probably the sky tower, huh? Yeah, okay, let's go in the sky tower. Oh, okay, this is Giratina's area. Interesting. We're, okay. Alright, looks like we're probably gonna have some Team Steam battles here. Uh, and I'm assuming that there are po wild Pokemon here, so we're gonna spray some repels. And wow, this is like the exact same layout as that one place we found Ho-Oh and Lugia in, so. Team Steam is back and active once again, kid. Oh my gosh. These guys again. These guys. We have to battle more Team Steam people, which is great. Um, and But they're really low levels, which is nice. Unfortunately, I do not have, um, what's it called, um, uh, fan attack on this thing anymore. So we can't really do too much to, uh, Dusclops, uh. Well, I guess 2KO is, like, nothing to complain about, because Dusclops is really bulky, um. Well, I'm used to Dusclops to be, like, even bulkier, because it has, like, a Violite and competitive, and, like, a Violite Dusclops is a freaking nightmare, people. It's, like, literally the definition of nightmare. It's so terrifying. Um, well, not terrifying, just like when, when people send it in, you're just like, uh, do I really have to deal with this thing? This thing is probably going to toxic my entire team and just like, you know, totally screw me up. Uh, we're just going to stay in. Tenzin needs some levels here. Tenzin definitely needs some levels. Glide. Glido. Uh, Shadow Punch isn't going to do anything. We are like super defensive, so. And Dusclops' is like offensive stats are very underwhelming. Uh, Dust Nord's offensive stats, uh, by offensive stats, I mean it's attack. Um, it's not bad. It's, it's attack is pretty decent. It's base 100 attack, I believe. So, I mean, Dust Nord does a better job hitting uh, hitting opponents like harder, I guess. So. But Dusclops is definitely bulkier than Dust Nord um, if you give it the Violite. So, because they have like you know approximately the same like defenses, defensive stats. Um, like I know that I think pretty sure that Dusclops has 130, 130 defensive stats. I don't know about its HP stat. Um, and Dust Nord has like one. 135, 135. So with a Violet, it's like a huge advantage over Dustnor. Um, but yeah, uh, let's go for a Glide, I guess. I mean, that's all we seem to do right now. We also spent a Gabite, which is not bad. Um, but I guess Tenzin actually is pretty fast, so I shouldn't be surprised. And great, Leftovers animations. Um, I'm thinking what we should do this episode. Uh, we're definitely going to finish up this area. Do we have time for the gym too, potentially? Um, we might just battle the trainers and leave the leader for next time. Because um, we are going really fast through this region. Uh, and I kind of like taking my time with the, with the Pokemon games. So maybe we will slow down a bit. Maybe we won't. Who knows? Um, Alright. At the same time though, I'm like really excited to get to this world championship thing. Because I was reading about it online a little bit and it looks really cool. Um, please do not poison point me. Please do not poison point me. 
Thank you. Okay. I don't think it did. Okay, good. All right, we defeated a team team grunt. Oh my gosh, our greatest victory ever. Our team has been decimated in Pokemon Society and we're still strong. Well, clearly you guys weren't decimated then. Um, what the heck is she doing over there? She's just like running back and forth. Is she just freaking out? Like, oh my gosh, we're all gonna die. That's like a pretty pathetic gym leader if you ask me. All right, another two Pokemon. Wow, is this thing gonna have two Dusclops as well? At least they don't have a million Pokemon anymore. And right as I say that, they're probably gonna have a million Pokemon the next time around. And that did not do anything. Uh, wow, we're we're 13 levels higher than it. Holy crap! All right, Iroh handle this. If it wants to Willow Wisp, Iroh does not care. Iroh does not give a crap. I don't care about your Willow Wisps. I don't know what that was. So. Yeah, yeah. Eat it. Um. All right. Anyways, <laughs> that's a dead Dusclops. Could probably 2K on the next one. So. Wow, Mandibuzz grows really slowly, which is unfortunate. Oh, man. We haven't used Hydreigon. Let's use Hydreigon here. Because um, we haven't used Hydreigon in so long. Go for it, Gazan. Oh my gosh. Gazan is such a beast. I love Hydreigon so much. It's too bad that it's not really that good and competitive anymore. Um, Just like with the advent of fairies in 6th generation and, like, you know, other stuff. And, like, different new Pokemon, like, coming in. You know, I feel like Hydreigon hasn't really gotten too much use. Um. And it's just Oko to Dusclops. Not bad. You are 14 levels higher, but still. That's not bad. I am impressed. Better if you did Team Stream Grunt. Our team is just made up of Pokemon Society, but we're still strong. You said the exact same thing twice in a row. Okay, I'm really interested to see what this person has to say, what the gym leader has to say. What the? The people in this game are just so weird. I cannot get over it. Oh my god. What the heck? She's running? Oh my gosh, okay. I thought she was just like running in like fright. She was scared, but apparently she's exercising, which is hilarious. Um, she's like exercising in the middle of a crisis. Like, you know, Team Steve is about to release a legendary Pokemon. She's just like running there doing her cardio. I guess you gotta get your cardio in though, huh? Um, let's go for a bite, I suppose. Um, hopefully this guy doesn't have like, you know, a Salamence or something ridiculous like that. Because that would be really bad. Um. Wow, that's actually kind of sad. We just one-shot it with a bite. <laughs> Anyways, what next? Karakarak, okay. Uh, let's go with Milotic. No, we shouldn't. We'll go with Zaheer. The thing about Zaheer is Zaheer's probably going to miss Cross Drop, so that's great. I'm really excited for that. Oh, and we got the Intimidate on us, which is also great. You guys know how much I love that. Um, Cross Drop. Oh my, Zaheer, you suck. You're literally like the blindest Pokemon of all time. Like, what? what is wrong with you? Why can you not land a hit? Are you going to lose to level 48 Krokorok? Thank you. Thank you for actually hitting. If we had lost to that Krokorok, it would have been really sad. I probably would have like kicked Zaheer off my team. Get a Magikarp instead. Magikarp's probably better than Zaheer right now. Um, uh... Tenzin. Took me a while to decide. Tenzin. Tenzin. Tenzino. I don't know why I'm saying his name like all differently. Yeah. Let's try Rock Climb. It's just basically Rock Tomb. Uh, wow, okay. I think Glide is actually more... Yeah, Glide is more powerful. After Stab, Glide is definitely more powerful. Oh my, you piece of crap, Altaria! Gosh, this, this is so annoying right now. With, like, the missed cross traps and the paralysis and, like, you know. The rock claw. I don't know. Uh, please hit. Thank you. You actually hit. Please kill. Oh, my. This game is trying to piss me off right now. I swear to God. Please don't get paraxed. Please don't get paraxed. Please don't get paraxed. You got paraxed. You stupid bird. You stupid vulture. Just, like, always scavenging around for stuff. Screw you, Tenzin. Oh my god. <laughs> this is just a disaster right now. Don't get Parahax again. Please don't get Parahax. Thank you. Okay. We're going to heal that up right away. Alright. Nice experience. At least we got some nice experience. Screw you, Team Steam Grunt. I guess you want to say the same thing as the previous people. Which, you know, whatever. Uh, do we have full heals? Yes, we do. Let's use it on Tenzin. Tenzin. Tenzino. I don't know why I'm saying that. Uh, I'm going to stop. It's unfortunate that we can't run in here. Oh, we're already at the top. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite legendary. 
You again? We're going to catch Rayquaza? No, I won't let you catch Rayquaza. I will not let you take my favorite legendary. I'm beating you, Kratos. Oh, wow. It's not bad at all, actually. Um, we should switch out. Um, wait, should we? Yeah, we should switch out. Um, let's go into Milotic. Uh, I'm not really too worried about this thing. If it starts Dragon Dancing, then so be it. We can take a hit, so... Oh, crud. Okay, hopefully we outspeed. That's not good, actually. That'll do a lot. Um, Alright, good. We outspeed. Well, Katara is surprisingly fast. Uh, I didn't peg Katara for a fast Pokemon. Uh, I guess it has base 80 speed, which is decent. Um, and we just one-shot it. Good work, Katara. Giving Katara the thumbs up right now. Maybe I should get a face cam so you guys can actually see like, my thumbs up and like my gestures. I make some interesting gestures. Uh, Salamence. Wow, this guy just gets wrecked by ice to ice moves, apparently. Because, um, like... Like, at least two of his Pokemon are four times week two ice. We'll see what his third is. Um, If he has, like, a Garchomp after this, then that would be pretty sad. Because his team gets wrecked by ice types. And that doesn't even, like, do half. It's, like, a three-hit KO. If a three-hit KO. I actually don't even know if that's a three-hit KO. It might come close. Who knows? All right. That's a dead Salamence. Wow. Katara's just taking care of business right now. And we got, like, no experience. Which is, like, you know, classic. Dusknor. Uh, Gazan, you take care of this thing. This thing probably will be able to take one crunch, which is unfortunate. It's unfortunate, but we should still be okay after burping. Crunch. Oh, I love Gazan. Gazan is so reliable. Gazan's like my most reliable Pokemon, I feel. Wow, yeah, totally. <laughs> Good work, Gazan. And like I said, the boss battles have not been too difficult so far. Team Steven God, you make me... <laughs> this guy, this guy, Kratos. He has an epic name, though. He's trying to destroy team's team. Oh my gosh. You don't have a chance in hell. Garchomp, what the? Team Scumbags have been trying to... Who the heck is this? Lauren's champion. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, Rayquaza is leaving. Is Rayquaza going to tear a hole in the wall? Now that Rayquaza is going to get back to work. Oh, it just disappeared. Wow, that guy just like shows up out of nowhere. It's like, hey, dude, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to own these... <laughs> I'm going to own these team's team, dudes. And just like, get out of here. Oh, do we have to battle trainers? Oh, no, oh, no. Do I have an escape rope? I really want to use an escape rope right now. <laughs> I'm not trying to battle trainers here. No! <laughs> Darn it! Do we have to... What an ass! He would put trainers in here. Darn it! <laughs> Screw you, creator. Screw you. Um, I'll show, like, one battle and then probably cut out the rest. Because uh, I just don't feel like it. Lady Jessica. Okay. Interesting design there, Jessica. Alright, uh, one flamethrower should do the trick, because this thing is 12 levels lower, so. Although, Progly is, like, somewhat bulky, I suppose. Oh, sorry, you guys are seeing my little toolbar down there. I don't know why that popped up. It'll just pop up randomly from time to time. And, wow, we didn't even level up. That's ridiculous. Never mess around the power of legendary Pokemon. Yes! Um, Team Steam is learning that the hard way. Okay, guys, I'm gonna cut out to the gym, and I'll see you in a sec. Alright guys, we're back, and let's go on to the gym. I don't even think we need to heal, honestly. Um, wow. Oh my gosh, Silver. Finally, I found you again. Time for another battle. Wow. Sil Silver just challenged the gym leader. He just walks out. I was like, hey, look, it's Ro. I'm going to challenge him. Uh, oh, well, I guess my name is Ro Shank in this game, not Ro. Charizard. Wow, he's just switching up his Pokemon all over the place. Um, what do we want to do here? Uh, we could, like, take down, I suppose. Yeah, I'm too lazy. We're gonna take down. I'm too lazy to switch out, guys. Which is probably gonna bite me in the ass, but... Looks like, looks to be a 2 at KO. Wing attack! The dreaded wing attack. That's not gonna do anything. Yeah, we gotta intimidate off, so... Please kill here, Arcanine. I know you can kill. Come on, Arcanine. Oh, you piece of crap. I was gonna give you some dog treats, but not anymore. You're never getting dog treats for the rest of your life, Arcanine. Alright, that's a dead Charizard. What, wow, it's a lot of experience. Holy crap. For alligator? Okay, we know how to deal with this. Azula, kill this thing. I haven't really been using it as a hair too much lately. Probably because the hair misses like every move. So the hair will probably manage to find a way to like miss Sludge Bomb. Um probably. Thunderbolt! This thing pr still probably dies in one hit, because Azula's kind of a beast, um. And for alligator special defense is kind of just meh. Yeah, okay, figures. Wow. For alligator is cool though. Uh, it's kind of scary with like sword dance and like aqua gen stuff. Um, we can stay in for this. Let's go for a thunder. I'm feeling risky. Oh, you missed thunder, you piece of crap. 
Iron Tail, the dreaded Iron Tail. Iron Tail sucks, guys. It's terrible. Huh? I mean, it's decent if it hits, but it usually doesn't hit. So we're going to try another Thunder. Probably miss. Oh, great. Good job, Azula. Why am I doing this? It's going to metal sound. Okay. That doesn't really affect us too much because this thing has, like, negative special attack. Uh, Aggron, that is, does have negative special attack. So it's not like if it actually hits us with a special attack, it's going to do anything. Wow, we just, like, wrecked it in one hit. That's hilarious. We're just wrecking everything in this game right now. Somehow you always win. We've only had two battles, I think, so. Silver's, like, not an ass in this game, which is nice. They oh, okay, never mind. He's an ass. Thanks for the diversion by Badger's turn. Okay, screw you, dude. Sure, screw you. Oh, wow, okay. Uh... Wait, do I have to, like, do stuff in this gym? Because <laughs> I remember, like, there's a gym like this in, uh, in 4th generation. Uh, and I remember we have to, like, you know, like, move some stuff in the gym or something like that. Uh, so I was wondering if we had to do that in this gym. Maybe not. Alright, let's do it, Iroh. Iroh. Alright, uh, Flamethrower, I'm guessing, is the best move? I don't know. Oh, it's gonna endure, darn it. Alright, I... Uh, I, I don't know if this would even have killed anyway, because Hitmonlee has surprisingly good special defense. It's actually, like, not bad. Yeah, see? It wouldn't have killed regardless, so. Alright, we're going to go for a Flame Wheel. And that is a dead Hitmonlee, I think. Pretty sure. Alright. Yeah, I don't know how that possibly wouldn't have killed. <laughs> Hitmonchan. Uh, let's go with Tenzin. Tenzin is perfect to handle this. Um, Hitmonchan is actually pretty decent defenses. Um... Surprisingly, I wouldn't expect Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee to, like, you know, have a decent defensive stat. But, uh, well, by defensive stat, I mean, like, you know, like, decent defense. I don't know. Uh, but I wouldn't expect them to, like, oh, no, we're, we're out of PP. What? Okay, well, we're going to fly. Um, I mean, I wouldn't really expect Hitmonlee to have high special defense. I wouldn't really expect Hitmonchan to be, like, decently bulky. I'd expect Hitmonchan to be, like, a frail, hard hitter, because that's what it looks like. Um, anyways, that's a dead Hitmonchan. Um, apparently, it wasn't bulky enough to take our fly. Alright, what next? Machoke. Let's do the same thing to this thing. Uh, we can probably Oko it, because I want to say that Hitmonchan is bulkier than Machoke. Uh, they're both pretty bulky, um, but you know. Cross Chop, the move that I always miss. And it's probably going to hit every time for the opponent. Oh, well, this thing probably has no guard. Oh, no, it doesn't have no guard. Because we just missed a fly, so it can't possibly have no guard. Unless some something weird happened. Uh, anyways, let's just go for another fly, um, and hopefully we don't miss again, because I'll be pissed if we miss. Um. And I kind of made a rhyme. Piss, miss. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's kill this thing with a fly. And we're going to get Lefty's Recovery. I always complain about Lefty's Recovery. But like I said, it's actually like, pretty useful. Wow, it survived on like negative 10 HP. Please don't do a lot. Okay, um... What next? I suppose we could just go for a... I don't want to go for flies. So we're going to go for a rock climb. Please don't miss. You missed, you piece of crap. Screw you, Tenzin. Oh, well, it's gonna kill itself, so. Thank you, Machoke. You're making my job easier. You're making my job easier, buddy. Alright, um... Machoke. Uh, I don't want to deal with Fly here, so... We're just gonna go out into... Ugh, Azula? I don't know. I don't think this thing has great special defense, so... We'll go out into Azula and T-Bolt. Mandibuzz isn't my most offensive thing, so... I guess it would make more sense to take this thing down with Azula. Alright. Let's go for a T-Bolt. I'm not trying to miss here, so. We're just going to go for T-Bolt. Hopefully this gym doesn't have too many trainers. Um, well, now that I said that, it probably is going to have like seven trainers, which is great. Um, nice crit there. That may have helped. Who knows? All right, we have defeated Black Belt Gray. Ooh, Gray. Gray is an awesome character from Fairy Tale. Um, anyways, yeah. Let's not talk about manga this, this episode. As much as I would like to. Don't want to leave spoilers for you guys uh, on any... Any manga series. Uh, hey, let's let's try Zaheer. Zaheer, if you miss cross chops, I'm going to kill you. I don't think that's enough to beat me. I've been training for like not long. Uh, I don't know how much the game log is. Probably like 30 hours at this point. Um, and I can probably beat you, which is really sad. Uh, just saying. Uh, let's go for a sludge bomb because I'm not trying to miss here. <laughs> Sludge Bomb should kill or do a decent amount, at the very least. Wow, didn't even come close. Killing! Kill me! Speaking of killing, just kill me. Um, hopefully we have a full restore. Uh, hopefully this thing doesn't, like, you know, 
do something ridiculous like focus punch. Although we do resist focus punch, so I suppose focus punch wouldn't be that bad. Mind reader, okay. Maybe it's gonna go for a one-hit KO move. Does this thing even get one-hit KO moves? Who knows? Uh, but regardless, that is a dead polyrath after a sludge bomb, so. I like Zaheer's moves except for the inaccuracy of cross drop. Like, we need to replace that, honestly. Uh Hitmonchan, let's just sludge bomb this thing and maybe kill or should we'll go for a cross drop. Wow, you actually hit Zaheer, that's amazing. I can't believe it. I'm just like in shock, in awe right now. And Zaheer's level 63, that's that's cool. Um wow, Zaheer, you don't have great defense. You actually have higher special defense, though. Anyways. This thing probably dies to one sludge bomb because Hitmon Lee is not bulky at all on the on the physical side. Um, but yeah, one sludge bomb should do the trick. And that is a dead Hitmon Lee. Wow, okay. Apparently Polyrath is just like way bulkier than Hitmon Lee. Has someone beaten my Pokemon team? Is it even what a what a cocky dude? Um, okay, what do we want to do? Uh I'm thinking, do I want to keep taking on trainers or heal? Yeah, we'll keep taking on trainers, so. There are a lot of trainers. I see one more up there. It's training for fighting type Pokemon. Okay. Or do you say fight? I don't know. Anyways. Uh, we have some Black Belt. Black Belt Chuck. Okay. Well, the amount of Pokemon they have is like decreasing, it appears. So that's nice. Um, and that Intimidate is not nice. It's like the complete opposite of nice. Uh, let's switch into... Who do I... Let's go into Katara. If I recall correctly, Hip on top special defense is nothing to write home about, so maybe we can OK with the Surf. Agility! Okay, well now it's gonna outspeed us, uh, which is not the biggest deal, I suppose. Surf! Oh wow, we outspent it. This thing must be slow as piss, either that or use a negative priority move. Um, but we won't know, we won't know which, which, which is the case. Uh, that's not a lot of experience, although actually no, it was split between the two, so I guess it is a decent amount. Tezin, destroy this thing with a fly, please. All right. Good thing he only has two Pokemon. That's nice. Um, hopefully the last person only has one. Then it would go like four, three, two, one, I suppose. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go for a fly here. Right, what is this thing gonna do? Reversal. Okay. Well, I mean, we're gonna kill, so that doesn't really matter that much, uh, unless some sort of miracle happens and it survives. Which I don't know. I've seen miracles happen in Pokemon, people. Um, like a three times focus band survival um, in the final episode of the last of the last half. Holy crap, plus five special defense. Tenzin, you're a beast. You're wrong. You'll just waste your time battling her. Wow, I just owned you, dude. I literally just owned you and you're saying that. Uh. All right, looks like this is the last turn. I've traded for many years. I think it's enough to beat you. You said the exact same thing as the last person. And you guys are all cocky. Like, just because you've like been training for a long time doesn't mean that you can beat me um and of course he has a uh, uh, I was hoping this guy would have one Pokemon but of course he doesn't sludge bomb uh, this should kill because Metacham's frail but I wouldn't put it out of the question that it lives um okay yeah it killed Metacham is just like the the definition of a glass cannon like it's super powerful but it just like you know uh wait what did we can try Gaza oh Gazan might not be the best actually yeah Gazan was a bad choice all right, well, we're going to try it regardless. Um, we'll go for a Drag Claw. Maybe Gazan is powerful enough to one-shot this thing. Who knows? Uh, doubtful, but possible, I suppose. I love Gazan right now, guys. I'm just, like, in love with this thing. Holy crap, Gazan one-shot it. Gazan, you're like a freaking beast. You're a monster. Hit Mon Lee. Mon Lee. Um, I don't know why I did that. Uh. So here, don't miss cross shot. Oh well, no, we're not gonna cross shot. We're just gonna sludge bomb. Uh, Cause I'm pretty sure, pretty sure sludge bomb does kill this thing. So black belt Enrique, I love it. What a name! The names of the people in this game are just are just ridiculous. Oh. Should be a dead hit only. That's a dead hit only. All right, we are done with this trainer. Player defeated black belt Enrique. Is it even possible that someone beat my Pokemon team? And you said the same thing as the last person, as per usual. Alright guys, well I'm actually going to save the gym leader for next time, just because we did take on two boss battles this episode. Um, so as usual guys, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. The comment question of the day is what is your favorite gym uh, from Pokemon uh, Diamond, Pearl, Light, Platinum? Uh, you can choose any one of them. Uh, if I had to choose, um, I ooh, might go with Volkner. I like Volkner a lot. Um, I don't know, who else do I like? Uh, I'm trying to think. Um, 
I also like Rourke. Rourke. Actually, I think I would go with Rourke. I think Rourke is my favorite gym leader from Down Pro Platinum. Um, but let me know what you guys think, and I will see you in the next episode of Pokemon Light Platinum.